Next up, we go to Junior Rotax, their first of two races today, and let's have a look at the grid. After time qualifying this morning, it was the 203 of the Netherlands, Lucas Schoenmakers, that put it on pole position ahead of Valentin Plus, who won the standings yesterday on Saturday. Farin Mega from Kachmi.de and Magnus Pedersen from Aris Competition complete the top two rows ahead of Nikita Genza and Kian Agasel, both from Boiler Cup, uh, Cup Racing Team on the 226 and the 262. Rafael Henhofer on the 233 and Maurice Schmeiss on the 210 complete the top four rows with Neville Fisher from Aris Competition and Richard Thomas rounding out the top ten. So 11th to 17th are as follows. The 217 of Rafael Balza, the 238 of Yannis Stiak, the 208 of Leon Arndt, the 241 of Corbin Hillebrands, the 228 of Luis Jacobs, and the 202 of Maximilian Pagand, and Luigi Gasso, and the 286, rounding out the 17 strong. Red lights ignited on the starting gantry, 11 minutes plus an additional lap set on the timer. So we'll be down to the pairing of Lucas Schoenmakers on pole and Valentin Kliss in second on the front row to control the rolling start formation. So the drivers will have nearly 25 minutes of racing over the course of the day's proceeding with the first part of it about to get underway. So Sean Marcus and Klus lead the field round the final corner. They split. Go into the tram lines, revs rise. Lights are out, we are racing. And what a great start from Valentin Klus going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lukas Schoenmakers who takes the lead going into turn three. Behind Mega in second position as they are now trying to make their way through turn four everyone trying to get through there nice and cleanly without any possible altercations is up to third place ahead of Valentin Klus now goes Niki Tagenza so the drivers now make their way through the midpoint of the circuit through the chicane for the first time as Fahim Mega now trying to close down and Lucas Schoenmakers ahead through turn 11 Schoenmakers leads ahead of Mega Genza Klus then Hoffer now up to fifth place ahead of Agassade as up the inside of the 236. I think that was Rafael Balsa making the position in terms of the most so far this weekend. They go across the line to complete that number one. Sean Macris has a lead of over three tenths of a second in front of Fahin Megris. Now Valentin Kliss strikes up the inside of Nikita Genza to take third place back through turn four. Ben Hoffer closing on the two in front. He's currently running at the top five. With Morris Schmeiser, it looks like, has now got past Kian Agassadi for sixth place. Magnus Pedersen, Rafael Balza and Neville Fischer ran at the top ten as they hurdle their way through the chicane. Kins against it, trying to get back onto uh, battling terms with Valentin Plus in the battle for third position. But Rafael Ben Hoffer is keeping with them, keeping the pace. Fastest lap so far is by Lucas Schoenmakers on the, the 2 0 3 with the 52 183 on the completion of lap one. Lap two, now in the books. 51.031 is the fastest lap, and it's been set by Valentin Kuss in third place. It's the top five Constantina going through into turn number four. Into the left at five. Top five were covered by just under a second as they crossed the line last time around. Sean Macker's trying to break away from Fahim Mega, who leads the four carts behind the train of four in second position. Morris is trying to push forward, being followed by Kian Agassadi in the 247 of Denmark's Magnus Pedersen. As Valentin Plus has got past Fahim Mega for second. Now the hunt to try and get past Sean Macker's truly begins as they go over the crest through the final couple of corners. 8 minutes and 27 seconds still to go, plus an additional lap. Very tightly packed between second and third. So that's Plus versus Mega as Henhofer goes up the inside of Nikita Genza, who has a little bit of a wobble going through the apex of turn three. Kianagasadi in the meantime has got past Morris Schmeiss for sixth place. So 
Rafael Balza follows uh, Magnus Pedersen, but is in front of Nevio Fischer. Sean Macker is not able to get away. As the pace being set is now starting to increase. Magnus Pedersen is the fastest driver around on the circuit with a 50.882 second lap time. He's currently behind uh, Morris Schmeiss, who's currently in seventh position. It's the top four. Now get closer once again. And covered by just over 0.73 of a second. This time around, it's 0.625 seconds between the top four as Plus goes for the lead up the inside of Sean Macris. Sean Macris runs wide. This allows Hefford, Penhofer and Fine Mega to get back into the fight. As now, Sean Mackers goes barging his way through up the inside of Valentin Klus. Farhin Mega has got past Ken Hoffer and is trying to get past Klus going through turn seven. But there was not enough move to make the overtake. Now look at the train, the top ten, nearly line astern, being rounded out by Nevio Fischer in the 236. Up the inside for, now that is for fifth position. And that was Kian Agassade going past his teammate Nikita Genza. Fastest lap of the race now in the hands of Rafael Henhofer in fourth behind Farhin Mega who rounds out the top three. Plus trying to lead the charge to break the advantage that Lucas Schoenmakers has. They hurtle their way up to the gantry as up the inside of Agassade goes Genza. Back into fifth goes the 226. But then Pedersen tries to make his way past and he gets past Schmeiss as does Balza and also Nevio Fischer. So in a matter of a couple of corners Morris Schmeiss has dropped from 7th to 10th, but it isn't over yet, the fight still continues onward. Through the chicane of the mid part of the circuit, they come, 6 minutes and 15, plus an additional lap still to go. Klus was looking on a move on Schoenmakers and Renhofer was looking to do one on Klus at the same time, and that would not have worked out well for either of them. Rounding out the top 15 is Janis Dijk, Leon Arndt, Luis Jakobs, Richard Thomas and Corbin Hillebrands. When you look at the top 15, covered by just over 5.6 seconds. Lap six completed. Four set. Oh, Klus did a brilliant move there up the inside of Schoenmakers, whilst Henhofen was trying to go for second. But he now drops down to what is third. No, make that fourth. Could be even fifth. That could even be sixth if uh, Agassada gets through. And he does. So does Magnus Pedersen. Henhofen goes toe-to-toe, -to -toe, side by side, wheel to wheel, through turn seven. Pedersen gets past the 233. Oh, off onto the grass goes Henhofen. And he, he gets punted down all the way out of the top 10, I believe. Well, he's actually behind uh, Rafael Balza. So he drops it out to 10th position. Now the fight starts splitting a little bit here. It's five minutes and 10 seconds, plus an additional lap still to go. It has been an absolutely enthralling and captivating first junior road tax race here at Vakersdorf on Sunday. Plus being hunted down by Schonemakers, who's got the real good run. Schonemakers going for the lead through turn three. He gets through the sweeper at the right-hander, gets the lead back. So Sean Mackers from the Netherlands, now ahead of uh, Valentin Klus. This is truly a chess game of gargantuan proportions. So the top five have now broken away from the rest of them. Looks like there's one driver starting to struggle a bit, and that is Nevio Fischer. Fischer was up into seventh place. I think he might have dropped down at least a couple of positions, or maybe that might be uh, Magnus Pedersen. Just keep an eye on Pedersen is up into what is seventh position on the road. Rafael Balza now battling away with Rafael Henhofer. It's a battle of the two Rafaels out of the second of the minute. And that is for effectively, I think, seventh position. So Balza actually in eighth ahead of Henhofer as the top five make their way through the exit of turn four. Klus now closely on the back bumper of Schottmacher, who instantly goes on the defensive through turn six. This now allows Farin Mega from Kashmir Tottie to look for a move up the inside of the 201, but he can't get through. This is allowing Nikita Genza and Kian Agassari to keep with the battle for the lead. So, in many respects, this could be. A really, really interesting battle towards the end of the race. Three minutes and 25 seconds still to go, plus the middle of the We have still five drivers in contention for the race one victory. Sean Macron's leads from Plus. Plus looks towards the inside of turn three. 
Pedersen looking to close on Morris Schmeiz for sixth position as the Dane goes up the inside through turn four. The two ten of Schmeiz runs wide but manages to slot back into seventh position. As oh, well, Valentin Kliss goes clattering to the side of Schumacher's, who's off the circuit, off of turn number six. And that was a bit of an unsafe reach. He was trying to get back onto the circuit, but he's been passed by another four carts. So Schumacher drops to what is effectively ninth position. Through at the same time, and he gets through past uh, Schmeiz on 10 11. Balzer now runs wide a little bit as a result of John Mackers going up the inside. This is going to allow other drivers to back to the bottom of the top 10. Schmeiz is going to the top four, are now being led by Fahim Mega. He's being pressurised by Valentin Plus. And also with that, you've got the two Bueller Cup racing team drivers of the Kitagenza. Kian Agasade running at the top four. Fifth place has been contested between two drivers. He's up the inside, tries to go Nevio Fisher. He compromises himself through turn six and loses out at least one, leaving him at two positions. Could nearly be even three if he was that unlucky through the corner. So the battle for the lead is still hotly contested as we go into the last one minute and 40 seconds plus an additional lap. Fahim Mega still leads. Just in second. Genza, Agasade, Pedersen. Being followed by Hafra Hemmer, who now goes up the inside of the day, trying to go into turn three. He makes the move through into turn four. The 233 from FM Racing now gets past the young day. Gunnmakers now has uh, come back to uh, get up to seventh position. After what we saw earlier on, he's ahead. Uh, looks to be, I think that's Louis Jakob now ahead of uh, Rafael Balto, I believe. He's ahead of uh, Morris Schmeiz in the team's head. And you've got uh, Louis Jakob and Rafael Balto been hitting the top 10 so far in this race. So 50 seconds on the clock. Once they cross the line, we will be onto the penultimate lap. Valentin Plus now has got the lead back from Farhin Mega. Mega still closing as it's Genza. Genza sits as an opportunity. Goes up the inside of Farhin Mega for second position through turn four. Can I guess that he also tries to factor in. Might get a run if he can through into turn six. As Mega looks towards the inside of Genza through turn six. Genza shut the door very quickly. And didn't go out the 2.45 to get past. By the end of this lap, we will be uh, at zero on the time. Up to 11 minutes of hard work competition. Right as now, as Mega gets passed by Agasabe, who then, well, manages to get back past, going through the towards the outside line. Once the turn 12, pounds past the 262. Zero on the clock. Final lap ball now will be seen by Valentin Plus in the 205. Keeps again to in second, being closed down in on by Farhin Mega, who looks very, very quick, going through his return for the right-hand sweeper. Mega not able to make an opportunity count through turn four. Looks again through turn six, can't get past. Then Hoffer, who is leading the three-cart train in the battle for what is fifth position ahead of Magnus Pedersen, and the recovery, Lukas Schoenmakers. Sean Mackles has the fire in the belly because he's set the fastest half the race of a 50.406 last time around. Three more quarters to negotiate. Valentin Plus has an opportunity as uh, Kiana Gassade goes up the inside of Farhin Mega through turn 12, but Mega gets the switch back. Over the press they come. Valentin Plus now powers out of the final corner. After a fantastic race, 14 laps completed, and Valentin Plus takes the second play and wins race one. Then the kids against her. Martin Mega takes third. Can I get started? Rounds out the top four with Hapa and Penhofer leading the battle for fifth and taking fifth thereof. And a Magnus Pedersen from Denmark and Lucas Schoenmakers from the Netherlands. Morris Meyers in eighth, finished ahead of Louis Jakobs in the 228. And the top 10 finish once again. The 217 of Rafael Balza. Nebio finished. Fischer completed the top 11 ahead of Leo Arndt, Richard Thomas, Janis Diak. Robin Hillebrands, Maximilian Kagan, and Luigi Gasser, who completed all 14 laps of the race.